Hello everyone, I am Lavanya and I am pursuing B.Tech from Sir Padampat Singhania University. Now I am an intern of Bennett University under the initiative of leadingindia.ai. As part of internship, we have done a project named Fake News Detection with a framework of fusion of content and visual features for effective fake news detection using deep learning techniques. So here we have worked as a team under the supervision of Dr. Rohit Kumar Kalia sir. Before going into the session, let's introduce our teammates. Hey, this is Dev Yas, pursuing engineering in computer science branch from Institute of Engineering and Technology, Devi India Vishwamitya. Hello all, my name is Yash Pamnani. I am currently pursuing my Bachelor's of Engineering in Computer Science from Bhilai Institute of Technology, Durga. This is Vinay Kumar Yadav, pursuing engineering in computer science from Sir Padampat Singhani University. Hi, I am Lavanya and I am here to explain the introduction of our project Fake News Detection. First of all, what is fake news? Fake news is a type of false information which are created to misguide and mislead the people. Nowadays, most of the people are using online platforms like social media for getting information. Social media has become one of the main channels for people to access and consume news. Since social media is an open source and cost-free, there are many fake comments and news are written in the social media. The advancement of social networks has facilitated the sharing and spreading of fake news among the people over the world. So, detection of fake news online is very important in today's society. Well, detecting a fake news is not an easy task as there can be many definitions of fake news but there is some extent which this can be possible using some deep learning techniques. The main aim of our project comes up with applications of deep learning techniques for detecting the fake news that is misleading news which comes from the non-repeatable sources. So data set used for fake news detection is divided into two categories textual data set and visual data set. Textual data set contains Kegel fake news data set and Twitter media evil 2016 data set which contains tweets from uh, US presidential election in 2016. So Kegel dataset contains columns like ID, title, author, text, label. So we have done some data pre-processing and cleaning. We remove all the non null values and uh, merge only those columns which are uh, useful for us. Or in that case, uh, th in that case, these are uh, uh, text and uh, label. And we have done same for uh, Twitter me uh, Media Evil 2016. Uh, then uh, we divided this merge data into ratio of uh, 60 20 20 for train test and validation set in visual data set we have Vavio data set which contains uh, rumor and non rumor images attached with tweets so in uh, rumor images we have over 7900 images and in non rumor images we have uh, uh, more than 5800 images now over to Yash so we have divided our project into three steps first data pre-processing second glove word inventing third model implementation so let's have a quick overview of how we can approach this data pre-processing data pre-processing is that step in which data gets transformed or encoded to bring into such a state that machine can parse it or interpret it that is the features of the data can be easily interpreted by the model the prime steps in the data pre-processing are converting the data into lower case, removing punctuations, tokenization, stemming, and implementing glove word embedding. In this particular scenario, we have used glove word embedding because it gives better results as it creates a co-occurrence matrix by establishing a relationship between two words in the corpus. That is how many times word i occurs in the context of word j. The deep learning techniques or the models which we have used are CNN, LSTM, pre-trained models like VGG16 and ResNet50 for image data to detect fake images. So in our model, first we imported all the essential libraries then view the data set and apply data pre-processing and data cleaning to remove all the NAN not a number values and columns which are not beneficial for our model. Then we upload the data set and merge the useful text features into one attribute and append them into the list where it gets converted into token used for word embedding. Now with the help of sklearn library we split the data set into train validation and test sets. 
we randomly split the data set into three for minimizing biases. Clawardum embedding algorithm is used to convert the sequence of tokens into vectors. So here we come for the result achieved by using different models like CNN, LSTM. So here we use first the Kegel case news data set where we are getting the CNN accuracy 94.90 and the lowest percent is 13.28. And for the LSTM model, we are getting the model accuracy 95.63 and the lowest percent is 18.14. After that, for the Twitter medieval 16 data set, we are getting the CNN accuracy 95.15 and lowest accuracy 18.44. And in the LSTM accuracy, we are getting the 88.68% and the loss is 31.50. Now we come for the confusion matrix for the CNN and LSTM model where we compare the predicted and expected label so that we get the more accurate result noted through the confusion matrix which we, which can make us feasible to make us feasible about the real and the fake news. After that, we come for the result achieved using the pre-trained model VGG16 and ResNet. So, as we can show in the VGG16 on Vivo data set, which contains the rumor and non-rumor images, we are getting the accuracy till 96%. And on the another hand, as we can show that in the ResNet 50, we are getting the accuracy 79% and loss equivalent to 37%. Here we are including the Cypher 10 also, but after that, the ResNet 50 is not getting that so much accuracy we are getting using the VGG16. So that VGG16 is a better written model for our data set classification and getting accuracy for fake news detection. After that, we came for the confusion. As we can say that the model constructed, that is CNN convolutional neural network, deep CNN convolutional neural network, long short term LSTM, and the pre-trained model like VGG16 and ResNet gave us the better result with the good accuracy. By preparing the pretend model like VGG16, it gave the effective result than the convolutional neural network because of the accuracy and the hyperparameter tuning accuracy in the VGG16 pretend model. After that, we came for the pretend model VGC16 and ResNet50, which are giving us more accuracy than the CNN model, like we can see from the graphs, there is so much difference between the loss and the accuracy percentage ratio uh, between the CNN and the VGG16. And our models detected and analyzes fake news from different kind of social media platform like Twitter, Facebook, and other various social media platform. And this will this model are going to help us to reduce the confusion between the real and fake news. So last but not the least, here are some references which we took from the Google Scholar like for the automatically identifying fake news popular tweet thread which we use for our data set and after that we use the analyzing how people orient to and trade rumors in social media by looking at the controversial threads which we use to get some knowledge about the model and the data extraction and principal component analysis, which we try to use uh, in, do, in doing feature fusion. And polling are used for the relevant similar manner. I would like to thank you, every mentor, every evaluator, and my teammates for, and, and most importantly, Mr. Roj Valya sir for giving us such opportunity to enhance our knowledge in deep learning and 
आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस 